Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to talk today about some of these rule breaker cards that are getting supplied by weekend league rewards that are coming out very soon inside of FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. I think this is actually the second set of weekend league rewards that we have had this year. Uh, another new team of the week is in packs. Almost uh, Friday is almost here with the new set of Rule Breakers team number two, but I'm looking at Rule Breakers team one tonight with rewards right before and during as possible investments that we could possibly make some coins on because these cards are rare and we've noticed that over the first week that they have been in packs. These cards are probably going to rise out of packs and some of them you can almost consider like a discard investment for later on in the game. We'll take a look at that as well. I do expect a lot of these cards to rise out of packs. We also had some pack code tonight released by Foot Watch, so uh, we'll be taking a look at that as well. But again, today is Thursday, and that means it is rewards day. So of course, good luck if you are getting Foot Champions rewards today on Thursday. Rivals rewards as well. I know that's kind of like a sore spot right now. I'm in rank four for Rivals. Do I have any games left? I might have to play some games tonight. I did not finish all. Yes, I have 21 out of 30, so I might have to play some games tonight, try to get to that uh, rank three just to get some better packs uh, because rank four and rivals is not very good. So I'm going to have to try to get on that very soon. But good luck with your uh, champs rewards. I'll be opening them live on stream, twitch.tv backslash the foot accountant. Link is down below. We'll be doing that later in the day. But first of all, let's take a look at this, this team, right? Because these are the cards. They're in packs today for rewards, right? These guys are going to be getting supplied at rewards. They're down a lot over the past 24 hours a lot of these cards have taken a massive hit in price especially honestly all of them right from harry kane all the way down to like dumfries harry kane is 1 million coins he's literally down almost a hundred thousand coins from where he was to start the day today 1.16 at his peak down to 1.027 on wednesday headed into the evening now he's 1.038 as we head into weekend league rewards some of these cards actually bounced up right mertens was 450 at one point on Wednesday, bounced back up to 490. Uh, it's going to be hard to see. Yeah, it's right here. He was 450 earlier in the day today, bounced back up to 490, and is now dipping back down to 460. It looks like there's a little bit of, maybe a bit of sell-off right before Weekend League Rewards because people know that these cards are going to get supplied during that time period. But a lot of these guys are meh, they're very popular, and a lot of people are going to want to buy them for their team. So which ones do we need to buy? When do we need to buy them? So there's two two different like buy scenarios that I see with these cards. They've been so rare all week. Actually, if we go into foot here and take a look at the pack probabilities in the store, I don't know if there's any promo packs or any special packs at the moment. 15k packs, that's it. But literally any type of pack, even there were 45k packs that were out earlier this week, and it was less than 1% probability for these rule breakers players. Uh, they're just very I don't think I've seen anybody pack one this week. I've opened a decent amount of packs this week, some squad battle rewards. We haven't packed a single one of them. So these guys are pretty rare on the market, and that bodes well for them rising out of packs. Now, they are going to get packed today, right? You are going to see some of these cards uh, get packed today during rewards. But the ones that we really uh, need to worry about getting our eyes set on first are going to be the ones that won't get packed that much. Kane, Mertens, Laporte, Nangolan, Douglas Costa, uh, those guys aren't going to be getting packed that much during rewards tonight. And most of your their dip in price is going to come from people selling before rewards because they think they're going to get supplied when they actually won't get as much uh, unless EA turns up the pack weight and something different changes, something weird happens. But for these certain cards tonight, right, for the higher rated cards, if you want to buy any of these for your team, put them in your squad, what I would say to do is wait until you know, maybe an hour or two before Weekend League Rewards and just kind of monitor their price until then. I know when I'm putting this video out, uh, we do have a couple more hours yet till rewards. Just monitor these guys' prices. Right now, Kane is around a mil. I would say try to get this Harry Kane card as close to a million coins as you can, either right before Weekend League Rewards or maybe during like the first 10, 15, 20 minutes, maybe first hour of rewards as some people buy or some people open their packs and list a couple cards on the market right away as they do get packed. That would be one thing you could do. Um, but for most of these, I would say they're probably going to reach their lowest right before rewards. This is kind of the same scenario that happens on Sunday nights. When we buy gold players that people build their teams with on Sunday nights, they get their lowest and it's easiest to buy them right before rewards because everybody else starts buying 
after the rewards come out. So you have more competition for sniping. More people are just out on the market buying cards, which just makes the price go up. So if you buy before when nobody else is buying and people are actually selling because they think they're going to get packed during rewards, you're going to have less competition, competition. And on a rare card, like some of these guys were looking at, you might even get a better price. Nine Golden was 298 today, went back up to 314, was even 320s earlier on the day on Wednesday, and is now back down in the sub 300 range. If I saw this guy at like 290, 285, especially, I would be, that'd be incredible. This guy was like, he was like 400,000 coins first day. I think this guy goes back up to the 340, 350 range, uh, depending on if we get some more hyped up Serie A players in Rule Breakers team number two, that's very possible. If I had to pick two favorite cards out of this team that I would like to invest in, I think my two favorites would be Laporte. Um, yeah, probably Laporte, Ocampos, Kane, and Douglas Costa. That's actually like not two, that's four of them. But there's, I think there's a lot of these cards that will rise up out of this promo. We just don't have that many special cards yet. And if you look at the amount of games played on some of these players, these cards are getting used a ton. Let me show you who are the most, the two most used players out of this entire team are Marcus Llorente, 12,000 games played, and Ocampos, 10,854 games played. Those are the, the number one and number two most used players out of this team. Now, does that mean they're the most hyped up and most meta? Not necessarily, because of course, they're lower rated, so they're going to have more cards on the market. Uh, so, so that stat will be a little bit more inflated, but... Uh, of course, a guy like Douglas Costa has a lot of games played as well. Twelve, Actually, never mind. Douglas Costa has 12,000 games played, and he's 400K. And this guy is actually kind of rare. So I'd be a huge, especially with the idea of Lewandowski being in team number two for Rule Breakers, which will be coming out on Friday. I think it is very possible. This card's what, 420? If, if this guy dips below 420, this is like the lowest that he's been all week. Maybe if you can get him in like the low 420s or in the 14s on PlayStation and in the low 420s on the Xbox, that would be fantastic. That would be a great price for this card. I think he's going to boom out of packs because this guy is very meta with the finishing. You could honestly play this dude as striker. I think some guys are starting to play him up there with the pace. I know he's only got a three-star weak foot, but sometimes this year it seems like a three-star weak foot can get the job, the job done almost all the time. So the players that we were just talking about, right? Douglas Costa, Mertens, Nangolan, Kane, uh, and Laporte. I would look to buy those cards before rewards or just after in the first hour if you want to wait for the pack supply just in case EA does something different. For the lower rated guys, right? Uh, Kamara, Andre, Lazari, if you want to invest in any of those, Ocampos, I would even throw in that mix as well. Maybe Llorente. I would wait for the first hour or two of rewards, especially on guys like Andre and Kamara. I know a lot of people are going to want to invest on Andre, but because uh, this guy's got a lot of games played, right? He's got 9,000 games played. He's got, of course, the French links to the new Mukiele obje uh, SB ob ob bleh, objective, not an SBC. And he also gets a nice green link to Renato Sanchez, who is not the easiest to link with his Portuguese links. So Portuguese League One, this guy gets a green link to him and he's French. So I think this card is going to have some value. People might play Renato Sanchez and this Andre together. Um, or, you know, just link this guy up with Mookie LA anyway. So I think this guy in like the mid fifties is a buy for me. And that'd be a nice little undercut. He was in like the 57 K range at one point today. That's a PlayStation price on the Xbox. He's getting pretty low right now. 65,000 coins, pretty low on the Xbox. Try to get him at 60 K there. That'd be perfect. Uh, and then I want to shout out one more card. Kamar could be a decent investment as well. A French left back him around the 50 K range would be great too, but Dumfries, right? This is basically like a discard investment. He's 18,000 coins. I would not be surprised if he would dip down. He's actually gone up from the midweek on the uh, Xbox. On the PlayStation, he's 18K. If you can get this guy tonight at rewards, during rewards at like 25,000 or 15,000 coins and about like under 20K on the Xbox, somebody pointed out to me today, and I think this is a very, very good idea. If you could get one of these and throw it in your club, this is basically like an, a discard inform investment because just at some point this year, we do have Robin in the game, right? Robin is playing in the Eredivisie. If Robin were to ever get a flashback card, now I know this is thinking way down the line, right? This is thinking way ahead. I'll even show you Robin's card in FIFA uh, right here. 
But if Robin were to get a flashback card, a right mid that was Dutch, right? He is in the air divisi, and that's how they release SBCs, right? They can't give Robin any other type of like his past clubs. It's going to be an air divisi, right? Maybe not a right mid, but an air divisi Robin Dutch card. And that would be a nice green link to that Dumfries item. So if that card ever comes, this Dumfries card is going to go crazy. So just something to think about. It's almost like a discard inform investment. And by the way, it's the cheapest one in this promo. It's not even that bad of a card. Uh, if you need an air divisi right back, this is going to be the best one. So this isn't a bad buy as well, almost as like a discard inform investment. But I think, honestly, Almost all of these cards are going to rise out of packs. I honestly think that they will, especially today in, into Thursday and before we get to Friday. Now, of course, with the Friday, with the new Team 2 coming, that could make the market shift a little bit uh, just in case there's some new cards that come out in Team 2 that would be better than a Team 1 card or maybe a card that links really well with a Team 1 card is in Team 2. Like, let's say they would put out some like midfielder from the air divisi that is also uh, Dutch that would link to Dumfries and maybe he would go up, you know, or maybe they put out um, another midfielder in La Liga with juiced up stats that could, that could possibly make Yerente go down. So, you know, stuff like that could happen. But without anything else crazy happening, I do think a lot of these cards are going to rise out of packs uh, with Douglas Costa. I think Ocampos is a really good one. I'm, I'm big on Ocampos, man. Uh, I've got 600,000 coins right now. I might be putting those that coinage, coinage, uh, I might be putting that into some other cards, gold cards, and maybe some informs before we get to the rewards period tonight. But I'm honestly thinking about snagging a couple of these rule breakers just because I think they're pretty cheap. And I think these cards are really rare, and I think they will rise out of packs. So if there's any of them that fit in my team, of course, I'm not going to buy a Harry Kane. I wish I could, but um, I'll get that at some point later in this FIFA. Uh, but... Uh, I do think a lot of these guys are going to rise out of packs just because they're rare. And a lot of people just want to use a special card in this game. And people have the coins to buy cards like this. So that was uh, the one thing I wanted to talk about a lot in this video today. If you are looking to invest in other areas of the market tonight, informs, right? You can kind of look at informs and the new team of the week similarly to how you are looking at these rule breaker cards at rewards, right? These guys are going to get supplied with team of the week packs. Uh, unless people are saving them, but Valverde is still 300,000 coins. Gomez was 450. He bounced back to 510 and is now back down to 490. This guy's going to bounce up after rewards 100%. Kimmage is probably going to get supplied and then bounce back up. Um, so rewards tonight, cards that I would watch that will get supplied and then bounce back up. Paulinho, whenever he breaks his price range. Kimmich, uh, Gomez, Valverde, Zaha. Those would be cards that I would expect to go down with supply from rewards and then pop back up a couple hours later as people do buy their teams. That's one way you can trade with the new team of the week on rewards nights. And as well, just looking at popular players in general, if there's any of these gold cards um, that you think are going to still go up a little bit. Some of them are already up. Dembele is up, Sissoko is up, Lucas is up like 5k a card. Wijnaldum is up a lot, man. 74k, GG's there. He's up a decent amount. He was 67K two days ago. Uh, and then, you know, you have some cards that are starting to rise, right? So I would just kind of look at this stuff. If you're looking for any last minute investments, uh, there are some gold cards that could probably dip down a little bit lower during rewards too and then pop back up. So just keep your eyes on that. And then last thing, this was added to the code tonight. I don't really know what to make of it. Now, we also, some people were talking on Twitter like, uh, some people were saying, even on the right side of this tweet here, this seems a bit early, right? An 86 rated player and a three rare gold players, 83 rated or higher. There's no way that EA is going to drop this sort of pack SBC like in the game right now. I don't think this is possible. Like, why would they do this right now? My only thing that I can think about is last week on Wednesday night, I think they added, I think that was the same time they added those, uh, UCL packs, right? So maybe just Wednesday night into Thursday before rewards is going to be their like uh, junk time for adding in SBC code that they're not going to use right away, that they're just going to throw in at a certain time. Maybe EA is just getting smart and they know that a lot of people in the hardcore community are watching what's added to the database and they're just going to start throwing random stuff in, the, in here that they're going to use throughout the rest of the year uh, to like freak us out or whatever. I don't know what, what the case is, but I these usually come out like when we have Icon SBCs and we are like I'm not a month away, but maybe three weeks away from Icon SBCs yet. 
So I'm not sure how these are going to be uh, released in game. Some people were saying a Twitch Prime pack. I haven't heard anything about a Twitch Prime pack yet, but I guess it's possible. Uh, so kind of keep that in mind. I do not think we will see these today. I don't really think you have to invest for them if you don't want to. But the only way to invest for one of these would probably be to stack up on some like 81 to 84 rated cards, an 86 plus rated player, and a, and a three rare 80 plus pack. I mean, you might have to turn in like an 83 or 84 rated squad or either of these SBCs. So when the time does come for these to come out, if it's applicable for whatever content's going on, these would be OP with like a special cards and packs. I don't know, man. So I don't think these are coming out right now. Just something to think about. And then final thing, today on Thursday, we should see Halloween and Day of the Dead content returning into foot. So that should be kits, stadium items, and pack rewards. We might see tradable pack supply today. And I would also expect a little teaser loading screen on Thursday today for rule breakers team number two so it's gonna be it's gonna be a busy thursday boys it's gonna be a busy busy thursday on inside of fifa 21 ultimate team oh we have the um we've got the fgs event as well uh so it's gonna be some pro players competing with actual irl footballers like trent alexander arnold is gonna be competing in this so i guess there's gonna be a twitch event on ea sports fifa's uh twitch channel which if you watch that event for 60 minutes i think You'll get one of those FGS tokens, which then you can turn in towards the FGS swaps that are in the SPC section. So a lot going on today and hopefully a lot of coins being made as well and a lot of good packs from rewards. So if you did enjoy this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.